Hey guys, Chad Schroffgerman here. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you the different effects you can apply to your sounds in Flash. Now you can do all sorts of different effects, from fade-ins to fade-outs, to adjusting the volume, and a bunch of other ones too. And it can all be done simply with a click of a button. So this should be a pretty quick demonstration, and uh, let's begin. As you can see, I already have an animation set up here and I have a sound on my timeline right down here. If I go ahead and click that sound and go to my properties box, there's a sound section in that properties box and I can go ahead and select an effect from this drop down menu located right here. When I click that, you'll see I have a bunch of preset effects already. Left channel, which of course plays the sound only on the left speaker. Right channel does the opposite. Fade to right, you'll have the sound go from left to right speaker. And of course, fade to left does the opposite of that. Fade in, you know, have a quiet sound go to loud. Fade out, of course, loud to quiet. And then you can go to custom, which allows you to create a custom sound. So, let's say you simply do want a fade in. You can just click this, the effect will be applied to your sound. And then when you go ahead and play it. Sorry, we ain't got no gas here, no, we sold out. You can probably hear that go goes from a quieter sound to a louder volume. And that's what the fade in does. And again, if you're happy with that, you can simply apply that. Now, let's say you want a bit more customization though with these effects. You can customize the effect by simply going to custom on the drop down menu right there, or you can click the pencil icon, the edit sound envelope icon located right here. When you do this, and the effect is set to fade in right now, you can see how the fade in is applied. Here is your left channel on the top, and here is your right channel on the bottom. So both are affected for a fade in. And as you can see, we go from quiet to loud in less than a second. And so let's say, for instance, you wanted to extend this fade in to go for the whole duration of the sound. You could simply hold and drag this square up here and move it all the way to the end. Now your fade in goes all the way through the whole sound. And as you're editing your different effects, you can at any time just click the play button here. All right, we ain't got no gas here. No, we sold out. And see how it affects the sound. And there's some other like really simple things you can do here as well. For instance, you could um, just adjust the actual volume of the sound itself. So if I take these two channels here and I just take both of these squares and I move them down so they're even, we now have adjusted the volume of the sound itself without any fade-ins or anything. So if your sound is too loud that you brought into Flash, this is a very easy way to reduce the volume. Some other things we can do are trimming the sounds. For instance, let's say you brought it in a sound and there's too much at the beginning that you don't want. Well, you could simply take this little icon right here, click, hold, and drag it. And as you can see, there's a line that appears here now. It's grayed off. That means all of that won't be heard now in, your, in Flash. And you can do the same thing here at the end. If you want something trimmed off at the end, you could take this and move it back like that. So now if you play it, we ain't got no gas here, no. You can see that it cut those two points off. And again, that helps if you want to trim some stuff up that maybe you didn't quite get when you were doing the sound or editing the sound before you brought it into Flash. Now, I don't recommend you do that for huge, huge files because if you're publishing SWFs to the internet and you have big sound files that you're just shrinking down to maybe a second through this editor, you're still going to have that sound in the, in the library which will cause your SWF to have a bigger file size. So that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, that's how you do some simple sound editing in Flash. Again, it's pretty simple to do, and you can't do a whole lot in this, obviously, that you could do in some sound programs, but for some quick edits and just some you know, final uh, tweaking, it can be very useful. So, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I will see you guys next time.